Hey, all right, guys. Just uh, popped up the plot. I come up. I do come up most days, actually. Well, yeah, at least every other day. It all depends on the weather. Then I mean, today is like on my last video. Brilliant blue sky. You don't think? See, let's have a look. Let's have a quick look round a minute. Hang on. Ooch. Lovely blue sky. But if I pan you round. Yeah, a little bit um, angry over there. What's it you're saying, Lord of the Rings? Nothing dampens your spirits, does it, Digwell? Those rain clouds might, Mr. Frodo. <laughs> Anyways, put you back over here somewhere. Yeah, so like I said, a bit of a maintenance visit, really. Nothing special, nothing planned, nothing to plant. We've got a few um, successional things at home, but they're not ready to go in yet. There's nothing nowhere to put them anyway. So string it ready, tie things up. Um, yeah, repair any broken bits of uh, glittery silver tape. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'm pretty sure it's working. Let me just show you these brassicas here a minute. I mean, they would be in pieces by now if the pigeons had got to them. So that foil tape was working. Right, it's going to work. Well, I'll just set you up and do a bit of filming, I suppose. Not exactly raw footage, but somewhat like it. Certainly shan't need to do any watering after all that rain we had last night. I did an outdoor barbecue. Left a plate out on the uh, my old table in the back garden. I'll tell you what, it's just it's overflowing this morning, the plate. Well, it saves me washing, I suppose. <laughs> uh, I've got these sweet peas, just try and get them to stay together a little bit. I'll tell you what. Yeah, they should start clinging to themselves pretty soon. I'm gonna do this then. Gotta be careful with these because they're a little bit brittle, aren't they? Never grown sweet peas before. Well, sorry, never grown sweet peas successfully before. So that's it. Perhaps they'd be better off on a net rather than just trying to climb up poles, you know? Tell you what I'll do, I'll wrap some string around. Yeah, like peas. Oh yeah, sweet peas, that's why they're called peas, isn't it? <laughs> uh, wish I had my other shirt on some. Should have my other shirt on, shouldn't I? Sometimes I amaze myself. Hold the cut end before you cut it. First job done. That'll do it. Oh, that lavender smells lovely. Oh. Yeah, it's all going to blow away, that's what it is. I'm going to uh, fall over. It should be alright actually, because these are actually gripping to the canes. Right, what else? A bit of weeding I suppose in a minute. This one's got two leaders already, this one. That one's all right. This one's got two as well, so I'll keep an eye on this one. Just making sure that any side tubes haven't got flowers on at the moment. These peas, they are, they are clinging to the net, but are putting the whole lot over a bit, so. In fact, I'll do it.
half and half, yeah. Right, weaving a fishing net. this net a little bit on the broad beans. That's better. Check for black fly. Yeah, I got black fly on that one there. So I'll get my spray. Yeah, let's be planting a big rater again. I'm liking it, it's good stuff. Used it for quite a few years now. I like it because, as the name suggests, it invigorates as well as um, kills. So. And I'll, be, I'll leave the spray up here because I'll do it again tomorrow or the day after. I've got enough spray at home, so I don't know what I've got. I don't know why this one's in the car actually, it should be up here all the time. Lucky it was up here actually. <laughs> they all got it now, they haven't all got it, but I'll just put some on in case they decide to move. There we are. Like any soapy solution, like I said, it just it takes two days. Two or three days, two or three squirts, because the babies poking out the mother's backside are, um, aren't covered in soap. So, a chocha! It's growing all right at the moment. To, like I said, I'm trying to get it to go in a spiral because if it goes straight up, it'll run out of um, room. Seems to be working. Let's snap those tendrils off there and put him over there. There we are. Cool. Ah, uh, straw bale, nothing to do there. Runner beans. Ooh, they've started climbing now at last. Just give any uh, wayward ones. You can't see it, I don't expect this one here. Let's go around the string. <laughs> so, just redo him, clock, anti-clockwise. That's the beans done. Let's take you off a stand a minute, have a look around. Black current's coming on very well. Um, yeah. And uh, the red current's down by the pond there. It's not be good. Nothing to do in the frame, this climbing frame. I mean, it's going all right there. Melons are a bit slow, but I've done very well with melons. Someone suggested it's just too plain cold for them outdoors in the UK, so could well be. A little bit of weed in there. Corn's growing quite well. Just on the run, I mean, so I want to have a play with this um, compost maker in a minute. Let's have a look at the, see how many carrots are germinated yet. Shocking results with carrots this year. No, absolutely nothing. Nothing. That's three varieties in there. Strange. So nothing doing that. Nothing doing that bad. Let's put this jasmine up here. Let me climb upwards, mate, not outwards. Oh, it's getting a bit high there. 
little bit of uh, coats up to go back down again. Kind of Right, those peas need tied up, we'll do that in a minute, exactly the same as the rest. Just done the tomatoes. Nothing to do in that little brassica cage there, apart from pull that ground sort of chickweed out, whatever it is. Done those sweet peas, potatoes are alright. Elephant garlic, just getting a bit of rust. Now I said the other day quite proudly, not getting any rust on my elephant garlic. Me and my big mouth, eh? Yeah, that's about it, ain't guys? I'm gonna tickle around with a hoe for a minute, and then um, I'll show you the um, compost tea maker. Nothing to do on the bales there, I don't think. A couple of chamomile popping up there, dandelion, dock leaf. Yeah, I'll do. Okay then, this is the um, aforementioned compost tea maker. Sadly, they're not made anymore. I can't remember who made them, but um, you can Google it. It's compost plant food maker or something. Then it's not made anymore. Thank you very much, Mags, from uh, my garden and the dinosaurs who live there. Put me onto this quite some years ago now. And I've been using it, not as often as I should. And well, what it is, stand, a little tank, a little tank to collect your liquor in, um, a lid, which is quite hard to get off, a water reservoir, now this thing here, this cage, is what you stuff full of weed leaves. And what you do, every time you're around, you just give it a couple of plunges, stir it up. Three weeks, you've got compost tea. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go and find some dock leaves because I want to use, which is quite good advice, let's put this over here at the way a minute, the, the weed that is most prevalent where you are. And for me, it's dock leaves. I remember as a kid, this field used to be all dock leaves, you know, big mounds of it everywhere. So I'm going to go and find some. Back in a minute. Okay, sample of dock leaves collected. Now this little basket thing just unclips, but... Oh, if I remember last time, it took a bit of persuasion. It's got a release of tabs inside, that's what it is. Here we are, let's see. Right over the job, and there we'll let that two slugs hiding in there. Thank you. Three, five slugs. Cool. Food for the jackdaws. And all we do is somehow get all this lot in here. Well, as much as you can. Get the lid back on. There we are. Clip, clip, clip. Right, put, fill it with water and put it where you want it. So I'm going to take it down there a bit Ooh, before I fill it up. And then, as it makes it, your funny thing about this, I mean, can you see the. Yeah, funny thing about this is the taps back to the front. Now, to me, that says flow in. But this one. That is on, <laughs> and that is off. So all you do when you're ready, just pull that out, lift the lid or whatever, fill it up, and you've got a nice little spout there, and just pour it like, um, I don't know, 10 to 1 mix in your watering can. There we are. So I'm going to put this where I want it, get some water, and take you down there a bit. So what's that? That's a, that's a 10 litre watering can, that is. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, a little bit more, a little bit more. Oh, 
Not, not quite level, but whatever. Yeah, make sure that's the right way round. Yep. Lid clips in place when we get there. There we are, and all you do, like I say, give it a now and again. Well, for now, stay like that. Well, that's me, guys, off home. It has suddenly gone very, very humid, and that can mean just one thing rain. Catch you soon. Bye.